Welcome back to Recap Spot. Today we'll be going over an unusual superhero movie called Inuyashiki. The film opens with a family moving into a new house. But the mom, son, and daughter aren't happy with the new house that the dad just bought because it's too small and dark. The daughter, Mari, is looking for food, but completely ignores her dad when he tells her what food he picked up. And instead, the whole family goes out to a restaurant without him, leaving the father, Ichiro, to eat by himself. Ichiro gets chewed out at work because their sports drink isn't selling enough, and it's costing the company money. Ichiro walks home after work, and on his way, he passes by a poor middle-aged man like himself being robbed. Ichiro gets scared and turns to run away instead of helping the man, but he runs into his daughter who's standing behind him. Ichiro tries to pretend like he was about to call the cops, but Mari calls him out for being a coward. Once he finally gets home, Ichiro sits outside and is approached by a cute dog named Hanako, who was abandoned by her owner. Ichiro feels a bond with the dog and is caring for her when his wife comes out and tells him to get rid of the dog. She then hands him a report from his last doctor's visit, which says that Ichiro needs to come back in for more tests. He goes to the doctor the next day and finds out that he has stage 4 cancer, which has spread throughout his entire body and left him with only a short time left to live. Ichiro tries to call his wife and daughter to tell them about his disease, but both of them ignore his calls. When the family is home later that night, Ichiro tries to tell them again about his disease, but he's interrupted when Mari yells at him for washing their clothes together. He's then yelled at by his wife, who's upset that the dog Hanako is still in the house, and she tells Ichiro to get rid of it. Ichiro tries to go outside with Hanako and let her out, but she refuses to leave him. He eventually tries running away from Hanako, but she chases after him and the two end up in a park together and share a moment when Ichiro clutches Hanako and cries. A light suddenly fills the park, and Ichiro sees that there's a young man named Hiro sitting on a bench next to him. Both men get up to investigate the sudden bright light when it suddenly smashes into both of them. Ichiro's glasses are knocked off of him, and he loses consciousness as weird creatures begin to surround him while Hanako barks. Ichiro eventually comes to in the morning and finds that he can see perfectly even though he isn't wearing his glasses. He goes home with Hanako and joins his family for breakfast. However, he quickly gulps down an entire bowl of miso soup and finds out that he can't taste anything. Ichiro suddenly gets really thirsty and drinks out of the sink as his family watches on in confusion before he eventually heads into his room. Ichiro suddenly discovers that his hand has smoke coming out of it. His arms suddenly turn into a gun and shoots out the miso soup from earlier onto the wall. Ichiro's whole body begins to suddenly transform and reveal robotic parts and weapons underneath. However, he's able to get his body under control before his wife comes in and yells at him again over Hanako. That day, Mari goes to school and we see that she's in the same class as Hiro, the other person who was hit by the strange light with Ichiro. After school, Hiro goes to his friend Ando's house and shows off his cool new powers by saying bang and shooting a faraway bird with just his fingers. The two then go to a parking garage and Hiro uses his mind to control the parked cars before eventually showing off his full mechanical body to Ando. Meanwhile, Ichiro goes back to work and is brutally reprimanded in front of all of his co-workers and told that he'll be the next person that the company lays off. Ichiro gets on his hands and knees and begs for forgiveness because he needs his job to pay for his mortgage and care for his family. Ichiro leaves work and passes by a pigeon dying on the sidewalk. He feels bad for the pigeon and cups it, only to find out that he can use his new abilities to heal the animal. Ichiro is able to hear a woman crying for a doctor to help her son. He makes his way to the hospital and sneaks into the room where the upset mother's son is. He uses his healing powers to save the boy, much to the shock of the mother and doctor. Ichiro is overwhelmed with happiness and begins crying as he walks away. Back at the school, Ando is getting bullied by some classmates when Hiro steps in and stands up for his friend. The bullies try to come after them, but Hiro grabs one of the bullies' wrists and hurts him until he cries and apologizes. Hiro then points his finger gun at the bully, but Ando steps in and stops Hiro before he kills him. After class, Hiro is approached by a girl named Shion, who confesses her feelings for Hiro, and he thanks her and walks off. Hiro calls his mother on his way home from school, and we learn that Hiro's father left his mother for another woman but it's clear that Hiro's mom still cares for her ex-husband. Hiro ends up going over to his father's house to collect alimony money and eat dinner with his dad's new family. Hiro gets upset as he watches how happy his dad's new family is, and he points his finger gun at them. However, he hesitates and eventually puts his hand down, realizing that he still cares about his dad. Hiro begins walking home and hears a happy family in a nearby house. He goes into the house and kills the family which Ichiro overhears after saving lots and lots of people at the hospital. Ichiro rushes to the house and tries to save one of the family members when he gets there, 
but the woman is already dead, and his healing powers don't work on her. He sees Hiro standing over the father's body, and he recognizes him from the park. However, Ichiro is attacked before he can do anything. He tries to chase after Hiro when he runs off, but Hiro takes off flying. The news reports on the murder, and Ando figures out that it was Hiro's fault, so he confronts him. Hiro admits to the murders, but doesn't feel bad about the deaths, because he views himself as a god now. Ando says that they can't be friends anymore, and runs away. When Hiro gets home, his mother tells him that he has to go live with his father, because she has cancer and will only live for a few more months. Ichiro gets home and tells his family about being demoted at work, and is immediately berated by his wife and daughter. He goes into his room and begins to have a breakdown, when he overhears Ando praying that someone will stop his murderous friend. Ichiro realizes he's the one that has to stop Hiro, and flies off to Ando with Hanako by using jets in his back. Ichiro and Ando talk about the night he and Hiro were in the park, and Ando figures out that they both must have died and been rebuilt as robots by aliens that night. They figure out that Ichiro and Hiro must have the same powers, and Ando decides that he'll train Ichiro. The two go training in a junkyard the next day, and Ichiro struggles to even shoot a can. We then see Hiro and his mom at the doctor's office, where they learn that her terminal cancer has suddenly all disappeared, and it's implied that Hiro is the one that saved her. Hiro and his mom are stopped by some officers on their way home, and Hiro has to run to avoid arrest. He uses his new abilities to kill several officers as he gets away. Hiro is on the run from the cops when he runs into Shion from school, and she brings him back to her home with her grandmother to lay low. Ichiro is finally able to make progress and fire from his finger gun. However, he gets exhausted easily and has to go chug water. After drinking a sports drink, Ichiro gets intense pain in his chest, and eventually shoots the water out of his arm, as he did with the soup. Ando figures out that it must be the salt in the miso soup and sports drink that Ichiro's body can't handle. Mari walks home at night and spots Ichiro and Ando together, which weirds her out, and she confronts Ando about why he was with her dad, but he lies to her. That night, Hiro watches his mother talk about his crimes on the news, and he begins to cry from guilt about the pain he's putting her through. Hiro then learns that she killed herself in their apartment earlier, due to the pressure she was getting from the news reporters, and Hiro is stunned. He looks at the comments on the news clip, and finds everyone slandering his mother for raising him into a killer. Using his powers, Hiro is able to hack into people's phones and shoot them over the internet, leading to mass panic. Xion tries to comfort Hiro after seeing that he's having trouble sleeping, but he tells her that he's the one who's been killing everyone. Xion still isn't scared of him, so he shows her his arm gun, but Xion isn't bothered. He finally decides to fly her up into the air, but when Xion tells him that she's only scared of losing him, Hiro realizes that she's the last person who still cares for him, so he promises to protect her. Later that morning, Xion goes to get water while Hiro is sleeping and is confronted by SWAT members. Hiro wakes up and jumps in to protect Xion as the two are shot. Hiro kills all of the SWAT members, but it's too late and Xion is already dead. Ichiro watches the news reports and asks his family to turn off their phones, but they don't listen to him. Mari goes on a field trip with her schoolmates, as Hiro projects himself on a large screen and begins killing mass amounts of people. Ichiro is able to interrupt Hiro's broadcast and records Ando telling people to get rid of their phones. Hiro begins shooting missiles and blowing up buildings, until Ichiro arrives and tries to tell him to stop. Hiro doesn't listen, and the two fight and fly through the air, until Ichiro hears his daughter cry for help because her building was hit by a missile. He tries to go help her, but Hiro attacks him, and the two end up on a roof. Hiro tries to recharge with some water, but Ichiro destroys the bottle, so Hiro steals water from Ichiro and drinks it. Ichiro flies off, and Hiro chases him until the two end up in outer space. Hiro tries to shoot Ichiro, however he just ends up shooting water because the water he stole from Ichiro was actually a sports drink. Ichiro shoots Hiro and sends him hurtling back down to earth, before rushing to go heal his daughter. He hugs his daughter, before Hiro runs in and kicks Ichiro. Hiro shoots Mari and throws her off the building, which causes Ichiro to charge up and punch through Hiro as he flies and catches his daughter. The news later reports that Hiro is dead, however they couldn't recover his body. Ichiro has dinner with his family, who now see that he's a hard worker and a hero. When Ando goes home, he finds Hiro in his room, and the two begin to play a video game together, before Hiro realizes that he's putting his friend in danger by being around him, and leaves. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more.